everyone welcome to my youtube channel today i'm going to explain what is ftdi so before if you are the new user then please subscribe our youtube channel and please don't forget to press the bell icon okay so now now let's start with the ftdi first what is ftdi ftdi full form is fiber distribution data interface is a, it is a set of ANSI and ISO standard for transmission of data in local area network over fiber optic cables. As we all know that fiber optic cables is used for high transmission rate of data. It means that whenever we are using the optic cables, the data transmission is much more faster than the normal cables. So that we are using this in the FTDI to make the data more faster transfer from one place to another place. This is how the FDDI works. It contains two rings, primary ring and secondary ring. I will explain it later what actually this is, ring is. Okay, so now move forward. It is applicable in large lands that can extend up to two km, 200 kilometers in diameter. Okay, so this FDDI is applicable on large land. Almost 200 kilometers is much more for a land. Okay, so what are the features of FDDI? FTDI uses optic fiber as its physical medium as I have already explained this this is the fastest medium through which data is can be transferred okay so it operates in the physical and media access control MAC layer of the OSI network model okay as we know that OSI ha contains the seven layers and it this work on the MAC layer it provides high data rate of 100 mbps and can support thousands of users here we have two advantages of using FTDI. first is the high data transmission rate and it supports thousands of users which can be as large peoples can access at the same time and communicate to each other and transfer the data let's move to the next point that is it is used in lands up to 200 kilometers for long distance voice and multimedia communication here you can see that voice as well as multimedia communication that means you can transfer all the images videos and every document files over this network it uses ring based token passing mechanism and is delivered from ieee 802.4 token bus standard it's a bus standard you can read it by just searching ieee 802.4 so it uses actually a ring based token this is ring it's then this problem is that if there is a disruption in uh, here then the whole network is got to be shut down so it's it's the primary to keep it safe uh, and not do not break this uh, ring okay so now move forward and this is i have highlighted this because it's a, one of the important point for FTDI. it contains two ring a primary ring primary ring here it is for data and token transmission this is for uh, data transmission the primary ring and the secondary ring that provides backup if the primary ring fails here you can see what is written here if the primary ring or the first ring is failed in some condition then secondary ring transfers the data over the network and it's used for the backup okay so FDDI technology can also be used as a backbone for a wide area network backbone for WAN wide area network if wide area network fails at the certain point then this can be used because it's uh, its range is 200 kilometers okay so now we are going to talk about the frame format of FDDI so here it is these are the frame format uh, preambler star deliminator frame controller destination address source address payload checksum and inline one by one i'm going to tell you what exactly this is first is preambler one byte for synchronization synchronization it means that in which format data is sent to be received at the same format or the same way uh, i mean that order of the frame like uh, you have divided one frame into 10 frame one two three four and five then first frame is sent second frame is sent and the receiver end the first needs to be at the first place second cannot be at the first place this is done with the help of frame ever after that start deliminator one byte that makes the 
beginning of the frame it tells that uh, receiver that this is the beginning of the frame frame controller one byte that specifies whether this is a data frame or a control frame okay uh, in FDDI there is two types of uh, frame either it can be data frame uh, that means that the data is being transferred or control frame that uh, some script or code is passed to perform a specific task this is defined with the frame control okay so next is destination address 2 and 6 bytes that specify address of destination station it's simple to understand source address 2 to 6 byte that specify address of source station okay and next is what is payload a variable length field that carries the data from the network here yeah. it's actually where the actual data is kept okay so now check some four bytes frame check sequence for error detection if there is any error then this checksum will drive that it's still that that uh, we have an error in our frame okay so next is end decriminator one byte that marks the end of the frame so this is how actually FTDI i work and thanks for watching please do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon and please put your valuable comments and if you need some particular video then put your comments below i will definitely make the video on that and please thanks once again for watching my video